Now, Sports Zone on 7 News. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Robinson Auto Group Sports Zone. I'm Chip Reed. We had a myriad of high school football playoff games close by in the Buckeye State. Let's get started with some afternoon action at Nelson Field. We'll take a look at how Bel Air fared in its first playoff game. The Bel Air Big Reds cheerleaders are getting the fans on its feet. Bel Air had an excellent 9-1 regular season. And it's hosting its first playoff game against Crestview. The Rebels actually scored first, and there are still over nine minutes in the first quarter. Ray Ray, Ray Taliates. Just a little dump-off pass, and he is off to the races. Pettigrew converts a 90-yard touchdown. PAT would fail, so it's tied up at six and still very early. The Big Reds take the lead. Here's Colt Sechrist, our most recent athlete of the week. The Big Back sheds tacklers and crosses the plane 13-6 in favor of Bel Air. The Rebels came to play as well. We're now in the second quarter. Rockland Batura leaps to bring down Anthony Cusick's screen pass. He's got a ticket for six. The point after makes it 13-13. Hetherington comes up with another big throw. This time it's to Jaden Kesterson from 35 yards away. The Big Reds regain the lead. Later in the quarter, it's time again for big play. Ray Ray from the 40. Pettigrew is wide open and comes down with it to give Bel Air a 14-point advantage. The second half was a lot more low scoring. Crestview is hanging around from the 10. Cusick rifles it to Dominic Yerke. The Rebels close it to 7, and that would actually be the last score of the game. The Big Reds hang on for a playoff W, 27-20. Here's the Tigers down at Fleming Field. Shadyside lost just one game in the regular season to the Bel Air Big Reds. Visiting Fairfield Christian Academy, had a little bit of momentum early. Ben Wash is unable to find a window in this play and is sacked by Drew Hamilton. Here's a stroke of bad luck for Wash. He lets it go from the 30 for his intended target, Corey Beckett. Beckett tips it and it lands in the hands of Ben Hopple. Hoppel carries it in all the way to within the five-yard line from the tipped pass. After the turnover, the Tigers were able to limit the Knights to a short field goal. Manny Scholes makes it a 3 to nothing game, but the lead would be short-lived. Believe it or not, Wyatt Ryman would get some touches in the game. This time from the 20, he glides on in, and it's 7-3 to Tigers. This time, no tip drill with Beckett. Wash screens it to him from the 40, and Beckett does the rest. 15 to 3, Shady Side, Wyatt, am most ill when I'm rhyming and stealing. It's 23 to 3 after the two pointer. Shady Side wins huge and advances. Barnesville's at home taking on Cold Grove. The Shamrocks have had a great season. Now it's time for some playoff football versus the Hornets. Early on, here's Owen Wyatt from the 38. He takes it right to the house. The Rocks draw first blood, but would not get the PAT. It's a 6 0 ball game. Wise had a great regular season, and now he's amped. Big play to start their playoffs. Still in the first quarter on the Hornets' seven yard line, Spencer Bliss gets the toss, and he finds pay dirt. The Rocks would get two after the touchdown. It leads 14 0 in the first quarter. Strong running is the MO early on. Barnesville down near midfield. CJ Hannis goes lateral to Bliss, and it's Bliss with the arm. Chase Connor is wide open. How about some trickery by Blake Allen? The attractive play gives Barnesville a 20 to nothing advantage. The Rocks win 36 to 6. River taking on their county rivals. That is Monroe Central meeting for the second time this year. The Pilots won in the regular season. Monroe's got a punt. Malachi Rose Burton's punt is blocked by Brady Longwell. His grandpa, Don, I'm sure, is a happy man after that big special teams play right there. Just a few plays later. Brody Lolithan will punch it in from two yards away, and the Pilots are on the board. It's 6 to nothing in favor of River early. Malachi Rose Burton, one of the best quarterbacks in the OVAC, he just had really nowhere to go in this game, and he's brought down by Austin Creamer. Big sack for a loss. Later, Brody Lolithan, this time from 25 yards away, add a two point conversion to make it 14 to nothing after this strong and punishing run for the second score for the Pilots. And Mike Flannery, River had its struggles. In the beginning of the season, now it's the beginning of the postseason, and obviously Flannery, a happy man in this game. First quarter, Austin Creamer still finds the end zone to now make it 21 to nothing. River is pulling away over Monroe Central, who had a good end to their regular season, if you remember. We'll go on to the second quarter, and another Creamer is going to find the end zone. This time it's Avery River. It's all them right now, 28 to nothing. They go on to win huge, 49 to 6. And they will advance.